everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Let's Paint, I teach you how to paint with watercolors and with acrylic paints. So let's paint. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful starry sky. We'll be using watercolor and acrylic paint. And we're also going to paint this starry sky. So let's begin. In today's lesson, you're going to need a lot of space on your table because we're going to be doing three paintings. The first painting is going to be our watercolor painting with the green and blue background. And we're going to be using masking tape to tape that down on our table, our work surface, or on our placemat. And ideally, we're not going to want to pick it up. We're going to want to leave it in place so that it dries really well. The second painting that we're going to do is our starry sky on our black background. So we're going to be using masking tape to tape that one down too. And ideally, again, we'd like to leave it in place so that when it dries, it dries well. And the third surface that we're going to be painting on is construction paper. And the construction paper is just for practice. So we can practice our using our toothbrush and our paintbrush to make the stars. So I just wanted to show you what it might look like so that you know how much room you're going to need on your table for this painting lesson. These are the supplies that you'll need for today's lesson. Now today's lesson is a big one, so we need a lot of supplies. I will leave a list in the description below so that you know what supplies to use ahead of time. And you might notice that there's going to be shadows here in today's lesson. It's because I had to fix my lighting a little bit so there wouldn't be a glare. Anytime you have a wet surface and you have bright lights, there's a glare and it's really hard to see. So I had to choose shadows over glare and I hope that doesn't bother you guys. So the first thing obviously we're going to need is paper. I'm going to be using this watercolor paper that I got at the dollar store. I need two sheets of this. You could use regular paper. The only problem with regular paper is that it's not made to receive water and it could warp very badly or it could rip. So if you have regular paper and you're using regular paper, I just want to let you know, be prepared just in case. Okay, so we're going to need two pieces of watercolor paper. You're also going to need some construction paper. You can choose any color you want. This is going to be for practicing our stars. The only colors I don't want you to choose are white and yellow, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So obviously we're going to need some paint. These are my watercolors here. And you could also have watercolors in tubes. These are called pan paints because they're in a pan. And these are tubes, because tube paints because they're in a tube. And I want you to choose green and blue today. And don't choose a really, really light green like this one. That's too light. I want you to choose a green that looks kind of like this one or like this one in the middle here. And when you're choosing your blues, I want you to choose something like this or maybe something like this in the middle of my fingers. So a nice vibrant or kind of darkish green and a nice vibrant or darkish blue. Okay, that's the watercolor paints. We're also going to be using acrylic paint. We're going to be using black, yellow, and white. These are dollar store paints. Um, that's why I told you I don't want you to use white or yellow construction paper for your practice because we're going to be doing stars with white and yellow acrylic paints. And I want you to be able to see what you're doing. I like to use acrylic paints because I think that they're very, very bright when you work with stars. Okay, you're also going to need some brushes. I'm going to use my favorite brush here for watercolor. 
This is a round brush because it's round at the top and it's pretty big. If you have a nice big brush, you can use that because we're going to be applying the watercolor all across the page. If you only have a small brush, that'll be fine too. But if you have a bigger brush, it'll be easier for you. I also have a little small round brush that I'm going to be using. Any small brush will do. And I've got this little flat brush that I'm going to be using just when I use the black paint because I don't want to have to keep running to the sink and rinsing it off between other colors. So I'm just being a little lazy there. <laughs> You're also going to need a toothbrush and I'm going to show you how to use a toothbrush to create stars. I'd also like you to have a little spoon ready and a pencil. Look at my pencil. <laughs> I got this at the dollar store last Halloween. So just have a pencil handy too. So let's move these things and I'm going to show you more supplies. <laughs> now for our dishes. For watercolor, I always have two dishes of clean water because they get dirty quick and sometimes I want clean water to clean off my brushes. You're going to need a few little dishes like this or bowls, anything that you have that you can pour the acrylic paint into because we're going to be adding water so we want it to be like a bowl shape we don't want to do it on a plate because we're going to be dipping in our toothbrush and if it's on a plate it's going to be too flat so if you have something like two little bowls that'll be perfect you're also going to need some of these things these are called palettes you could also use regular plates instead of palettes the reason you're going to need these is because we're going to pour our black paint onto one of them or onto a plate. And if you have tubes, you will need a palette or a plate to squeeze out some of your paint and add water to it. Okay? So you only need one. Or if you're using plates, you're going to need maybe a few plates. So have those ready more supplies. <laughs> You're going to need some masking tape. And I have a little cloth that I use when I put the masking tape and I push it down. I use my cloth instead of my finger because you can burn your finger on the masking tape. I also have some paper towels and you can use a face cloth or an old cloth for that because that's going to be used for wiping your brush. And I just have a little bit of saran wrap because we're going to be putting our black acrylic paint onto either a plate or a palette. And while we're not using it, we're going to cover it with saran wrap so it doesn't dry out. So that's a big list of supplies today, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is take a piece of watercolor paper and just so you know the size of my paper is the size of a regular piece of paper it's about 11 inches wide by eight and a half inches long we're going to take our masking tape and we're going to put a piece of tape on the top one on the bottom one on the left side and one on the right side we're going to frame our page Okay, so let's frame this out. Put it right at the edge. If you want, you could... Oh, mine's crooked. I don't want mine to be crooked. Hold on. Let's make that straight so that you guys can see it. Okay. If you want, you can tape it down to your table, your workspace, or your placemat, or a piece of cardboard. But you do want to tape it down because when you use a lot of water, it starts to warp the page a little bit. And you're going to need a lot of room today because we're going to tape down our piece of watercolor paper here. But we're also going to be 
practicing on a piece of construction paper and we're going to be using another piece of watercolor paper for a third project. So I want to make sure that you have lots and lots of room. Okay, you might need to use your whole table. <laughs> this is going to be a big fun lesson on painting. All right. I've got my watercolor paper all framed out. I'm going to take my cloth or you can take a paper towel and just push that tape down so that no water can seep under the edges. Sometimes it does. That's happened to me, especially in the corners. Sometimes the water gets underneath. And if it does, it does. No big deal. I'll show you a trick at the end if you get some paint under your masking tape. All right. There we go. Mine's all ready to go and I'll give you a moment to catch up. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to prepare your watercolors if you have tubes. If you don't have tubes, I'll show you how to use the pan paints, okay? So I've got my little green here, and I'm putting my green just a little bit. With watercolor paints, you do not need to use a lot. If you have the tubes, don't squeeze out too much. You just need a very little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna take a clean brush, and I'm gonna take my water and just dab some water in there. Dab, dab, dab some water in there. And then you mix it around just like that. And you're ready to go. Okay? And you can always add more water if you think it's too thick. So that's how you would use the tubes. Since I'm using my pan paints today, what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to take my brush, dip it into my water, and then add it to my pan. And that's how I'm going to be using the pan paint, okay? So are you guys ready to go? I'm very excited about today's lesson. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to start with some green, okay? So I want you to take the green color that you've chosen, get it all nice and wet, try to get a lot of paint and water onto your paintbrush, and then we're just going to go and paint across our page. Don't use too much water because you don't want puddles, okay? You definitely don't want puddles of paint. I'm just adding a little more water onto my paintbrush, going back in. Oh, I've got a hair on my paintbrush. Let me just get rid of that. Probably a dog or a cat hair. All right, so I'm going back in and I'm putting more green all the way across. And if you have spots like this, see, I didn't get any green on some spots. That's okay. Leave that like that. You don't want it to be perfect because we're going to be adding blue on top and it'll be nice in some areas to have the blue going through the green. So just get your entire page filled with watercolor green. I'm adding water and then 
I'm dipping my paintbrush in water and then into my green. You might not need as much water as I have, but if you do, just dip. And I want to make sure that you get all of your edges with color. Okay, here I didn't, I didn't get the edge done because I'm going to be putting blue there. But I want to make sure that you get everything covered. And it's okay if you paint on your masking tape because we're going to be peeling that off after. I'll give you a moment to catch up on that. Okay, now you might be noticing that your paper is already starting to rise a little bit. <laughs> Mine is definitely rising a little bit because it's getting wet. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our blue. You don't have to wash off your brush. Just dip it in water. And let's see, I think I was going to use this blue here. I'm just doing the same thing. I'm dipping my brush in water and bringing it to my pan. And I'm filling my paintbrush with paint. And I'm just going to go over the whole area with blue. And you don't have to fill the whole area. You can leave some of the green just as it is. And it's going to look really pretty. And it's okay if some areas are dark and some areas are light. At this point, I just want to make sure there's no more white on your page. I want you to cover all the white, but you don't have to make a solid blue all the way across. Because we want to have different colors. We want the colors to be blended. If we wanted to have a solid blue color or a solid green color, we would use acrylic paint. But watercolor is paint that's called transparent. There are some solid wa watercolors out there, but most, mostly watercolor is transparent. And as you know, transparent means you can see through it. And if you look at your paint, at your painting right now, you can see green through blue and you can see blue through green that means it's transparent it's not one big solid color okay i'm going to make sure i got every spot and i did and i'm going to let that dry just for a little bit and in the meantime i'm just going to clean off my brush if you're not using your brush for a little while, clean it off and just dry it. And when you dry it, it's not going to be completely dry, but get all the water off as you can. Shape it again, okay? Shape it again so that it always has its shape. And then you can put it aside. Okay? All right. Now we're going to let this dry and in the meantime, we're going to do something else. Remember I told you you're going to need a lot of room for today's lesson? Well, this is where you're going to need more room. If you taped your watercolor to your table or to a placemat or to your workspace and you want to leave it there, then scoot on over because you're going to need more room. I can't do that because I'm filming this on camera, so I'm going to very gently lift my watercolor off. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this because I, I can't move over. So I'm just going to place this beside me so it will dry. And I'm going to take my second page of watercolor paper and I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to frame it out. 
but we're going to frame it a little differently this time. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's take our masking tape and let's frame the top, the bottom, the side on the right and the side on the left. We'll start off with that. And if you want, you can tape it to the table too, to your placemat, to your workspace. This one you don't really have to tape down because we're going to be using acrylic paint for this. I'll just give you a minute to catch up. Okay, now we're, we're not finished with the masking tape. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece and we're gonna put it right in the middle. Okay, I think this is kind of in the middle here, sort of. If you want to be picky, you can take out a ruler, but let's just try to figure out what looks like the middle here. It's hard to see in the lights, but what I'll do is, um, how about I'll do this? Just so you can see, I've got my masking tape in the middle here. You don't have to do this. I just want you to see where all the masking tape is, okay? So basically, we've framed two spots. Now I want you to take your cloth or a paper towel and do the same thing we did before. Just push that masking tape down so none of the paint um, seeps under, or you would say, so none of the paint bleeds under. Make sure you get all the sides and the top and the bottom and the middle piece. Okay, I think mine's pretty good there. Okay guys, now take your palette or a plate. See mine is very well used. <laughs> this blue blue stains. I just wanted to show you that because I wash this with soap and water and I take a scrubber and blue really really stains. So shake up your black acrylic paint or if you have a tube of black acrylic paint you can just put a little bit in and we're going to put a lot here. A big blob like that. Okay. You might need more, so keep this handy. And remember I told you before, I'm just using a flat brush like this because I don't want to have to run back and forth um, washing my paintbrush. So what you're going to do is you're just going to fill in the entire area with black. Got some more little hairs here. Okay, so just take your paintbrush, put it in your acrylic paint, and just put black over everything. And don't forget, you can paint over the masking tape. That's okay. <sighs> Let's just get that entire area filled with black paint. You can paint right over the middle one. You don't have to be too picky about that. Okay. 
And don't, don't put too much paint on. Don't make it too thick because then it'll just take forever to dry. I hope that you're enjoying my painting lessons. I love doing drawing lessons, but I also love to do painting. Painting is a lot of fun. I've got one side done here. Now I'm going to go and do the other side. And when you dip your paintbrush in, turn your brush so you have paint on both sides. So when I go down like this, and you see I'm kind of missing a little bit of paint here, I just turn my brush over and use the paint on the other side. Right. This is a lot of fun. I'm just going to paint over the whole thing just to make sure I don't miss any spots. How about I draw, how about I paint a little? <laughs> a little dog or a little something. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll make it a rabbit <laughs> and I'll just paint over him. Having a little fun there. Okay, so I'm finished. Got everything all painted in with black. Now, what I want you to do is, when you're done, take your plastic wrap. Remember we had a little saran wrap? And I just want you to put it over your black paint so it doesn't dry out, okay? And you see it fell on top of the paint, but that's okay. I don't want it to dry out because we don't want to have to keep using lots and lots of paint if we don't have to, right? We want to conserve, <laughs> be frugal, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our watercolor, all right? So if you scoot it over to do this one, I want you to scoot back over the other way and get in front of your watercolor painting. Now, as you know, I don't have enough room, <laughs> so I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to move this over and I'm going to let this dry. Where am I going to let this dry? I'm going to let this dry there and I'm going to take my watercolor and put my watercolor back in front of me. And I'm going to tape it down again, push the tape down to make sure it's really not going to move on the table. Okay. So we're going to go and we're going to put a second layer of paint onto our canvas. A second layer just means we're going to go over it a second time and we're going to do it the same way we did it the first time. I'm going to get my water close by here and I'm going to dip my paintbrush into my water and I'm going to then dip it into my green color, that same green color that I used the first time. And we're just going to do the same thing. Go over the entire page a second time. And you can do the same thing as I showed you before. If you want to miss a few spots, that's okay because we're going to be putting in another layer of blue. 
and see over here how dark it is that's because I have too much there I don't want a puddle of water like I said it will take forever to dry and we want to see what we have created we want to be able to get this going so I'm just going over my whole page and as you can see I left a few little spots here and there that I didn't like here I didn't paint that in and here I didn't paint that in but that's okay that's going to be that's going to be filled in with the blue but if you want you can do the entire page you're still going to see some blue in there The whole idea is I want this to be nice and dark because we are painting a starry sky scene, aren't we? All right. So I've got my green. If you have a warping page, if it's starting to ripple up and down, the parts that are down might have water in them. If they have water in them, what I want you to do, and I'll show you, how about I'll put some water in just to show you. See, I've got a big puddle there, big puddle of water there that I don't want. I'm going to take my brush and wipe it off. Then I'm going to go and roll my paintbrush and wipe it off. Rolling my paintbrush and wipe it off rolling my paintbrush all the way around and wiping it off okay and then I'll just do this and move the paint back and forth just like that all right and it doesn't have to be perfect you see here there's that little sort of edgy part that's okay because that makes it look maybe like there could be a cloud in the sky you don't want perfection when you're using watercolor because everything's going to blend beautifully. So the next thing we're going to do is fill the entire page with blue. That same blue color that you had before. I'm putting a little water on my brush and I'm dipping it into that blue color and I'm turning my brush around to get a lot of paint on there. Okay, and I'm going to go and do the same thing. And you see how dark it is now? It's a really nice blue I've, I've chosen. I hope you are happy with the colors that you chose. So back and forth, just blending all that color together. I'm adding a little more water and then putting my brush back into the pan. Back and forth. And I want to fill in all of the page this time. Isn't this relaxing? I think it's wonderfully relaxing. And today it's raining outside, so it's a perfect day to bring out the paints and enjoy some time inside. Learning how to paint. I'm going to put a little more blue down here. Okay, now if you want, you can choose your green or your blue and just put in a couple of dark lines here and there. Just a couple of dark areas. Okay, and when that dries, it's gonna dry really nice. I'll give you just a moment to catch up and I'm going to clean off my brush. And I'm actually going to use my clear water now. Clean that brush off because I'm not going to be using this brush again. So I'm cleaning it off and then wiping it off with my paper towel or a face cloth or a rag. And remember what I told you, whenever you clean your brushes, shape them. Okay? And what you really should do when you're finished all of this is take all the brushes that you have, 
and wash them with soap and water, but very, very gently. And then dry them and shape them. Okay. So have you caught up? Are you all caught up? Now this is going to take a little bit of time to dry. So I want you to scoot on over. <laughs> Actually, you know what I noticed something? I have a puddle right here. I have a puddle of water. And if I don't clean that up, it's going to take forever to dry. So remember what I told you to do? Roll and wipe. And I've cleaned that up already, so I'm just going to go like this to fill that in. I have a little puddle on this side too, so with a dry brush, roll and wipe it off. And then just blend it back together. All right? Now I have to clean my brush again. And into the clean water. Don't do this over your painting. I'm only doing this so that you guys can see what I'm doing, but you don't want to spill any water on your painting. Okay? I will go back later and wash this with soap and water. There. Shaped. All right. So now we're going to do some practicing. I want you to take your construction paper. Now you know what I'm doing. I have to move my paint, my painting, because I don't have enough room on my table. But you could probably leave yours there and just scoot on over to the other side. But I have to move mine over here. All right. Now what I want you to do is take your construction paper. And this is where we're going to practice our stars. Okay, so what you're going to need for this is your construction paper. You're going to need your toothbrush. Remember I had that little round brush? I'm going to use that. And remember I asked you to keep your pencil handy? Keep that handy. You need a spoon, one of those little dishes, and some clear water. All right. Obviously, also, you're going to need <laughs> your white acrylic paint. Or you can use your yellow. We're just practicing on this one. So what I want you to do first is choose white or yellow. Doesn't matter the color, because like I said, we're just practicing. And pour, I'd say, about a spoonful into your dish like about a spoonful. I'm going to move my construction paper for now because I don't want to get it wet while I show you what to do next. I want you to take some clean water. Mine has a little blue in it, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I want you to take your spoon and take one spoonful of water and put that into your acrylic paint. Okay? And then I want you to just mix it all up together. It's going to be pretty watery, but that's what we want. Make sure it's all mixed in well. Okay, and you can set your spoon aside. Get your construction paper. And remember, this is all for practice. And I want you to take your toothbrush and dip it in. Okay? And then tap it to get the excess off. And then watch what I'm doing. I'm going to take my finger and go whoosh down, pointing at the paper. Whoosh. <laughs> okay? I'm just going like this like that. We're just practicing. But you see how neat that is? This makes a starry sky or 
This could be snow if you're doing a snow scene. You can hold your brush in one hand and do this. See how messy it gets? Or you can hold it in one hand and do this. You can put a lot. <laughs> you can make a really starry sky here. Isn't that cool? Now I want you to keep practicing, okay? And remember what we were doing. We were going like this. I'm not going to press too hard because I don't want to get paint on my camera. <laughs> but I was basically doing this, pushing down like that. You can experiment. You can push down really hard and look what happens. You get a lot, a lot, a lot that comes off. Or you can do a light touch and you get a little dusting of stars. Okay, I want you to practice that. Just keep practicing with your, with your toothbrush. I'm going to clean my finger off here and then I'm going to show you another way to make stars. And it does dry very fast. You'll see that it dries very, very fast. So just keep practicing. Okay. I'm going to go get another piece of construction paper because I want to show you how to do it another way. So how are you guys doing? Are you getting the hang of it? It's pretty fun, eh? But very messy. So I'm just going to take another piece of construction paper. You can use the same one or you could turn it over if you want. I practiced before, so that's why you see some on that side. So turn it over or take another piece. Doesn't matter what color, as long as you can see white on it. And you're going to take your round little paintbrush like this and watch what I'm doing. I'm filling it with water and paint mix here and it's going to drip so I want to tap off the excess here and then you're going to use your pencil and I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to hold your paintbrush over your canvas and it might drip as I'm doing this. You're going to take your pencil and tap. See what I'm doing here? This makes bigger stars. And you can turn your paintbrush a little bit. And if you want, you can dip it in again and make sure you just tap it a little so you don't get big drips on there. And tap lightly or tap hard. And that's another way to make a starry sky. You can combine both methods if you want. This method is a little less messy. You don't get it all over your fingers, but I like the toothbrush a lot because it really does give a nice dusting of stars. Because if you look up in the sky, you don't see this. Right? <laughs> you don't see that. You see this. If it's a really dark night, you might see this. And we're going to use yellow and white, so it's going to be really, really nice. Now I want you guys to practice that for a few minutes, okay? I'm going to go and get myself some clean water, and I want you to practice. And I will be right back. Get my clean water, and I'll be right back. Keep practicing.
Are you practicing, guys? All right, I've got some clean water here. Let me put my microphone back on. So what do you think, guys? Do you like that? Which one do you like better? When you use the, the paint brush, you know, with your pencil and you do this, as you can see, it makes bigger, bigger stars and they take a little longer to dry. So just keep that in mind. But I love doing that. That's so much fun. Isn't that neat? I'm going to put this aside for now. The next thing we're going to work on is our black painting. But before that, we've already got, we already have our white acrylic with the water prepared. We're going to do the same thing with the yellow. Shake up your yellow. And I want you to pour about a spoonful of paint in there. <laughs> that looks like an egg. <laughs> All right, and we're going to take some clean water, take a spoonful of water, put it into the yellow paint and mix that all up just like you did with the white. Make sure it's all mixed up really, really well. Okay, mine's mixed up pretty well. Let me move that over. So I've got my paints ready here. What we're going to do is we're going to take our black painting now. I want you to go back to your black painting. I have mine here. It should be dry by now. Here, I'm going to put this, make sure you can see it really well. I'm going to move these over so you can see it really well. Okay. I think it's okay there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put some stars on this. And what I'd like you to do is take, you can take your construction paper actually, since we were just practicing with that. Take your construction paper and put it over half. Remember you had that masking tape there? I want you to just take your construction paper and put it over half of your black. Make sure you see here, it's halfway because I want to do one side with white and one side with yellow. I think that's going to look really neat. So I'm going to start with the left side and I'm going to use my white. So I've got my toothbrush and you're basically, you're just covering the right side here so we don't get white on that side, but you could do that if you want. You can do the whole thing if you want. I just wanted to do something a little different. So here we go. Let's dip in our toothbrush, or if you're using the method with the paintbrush and the pencil, you can do that. Tap it off a little. Make sure there's no excess and go for it. You can put as many or as few stars as you want. And if you want to do something like this, There's a whole bunch of stars in a line there. That kind of looks like the Milky Way. And you can have fun with this, my, my friends. You can use bright green. You can use uh, red. You can use oranges. You can do splatters everywhere. And you can make beautiful, beautiful art so easily with a dirty finger <laughs> and a toothbrush. So that's what I'm going to do there. I'm leaving that there. I'm just trying to wipe off my finger here. There we go. Okay. Now have fun with that. Have a lot of fun with that. Doesn't that look like a sky? I think that's really cool. We have to let that dry just a little bit. I'm going to move my construction paper just so you can see. Oh, I got a little bit of white on that, but that's not a big deal. I'm just going to wipe that right off. Get it a little wet. 
and wipe that off as much as I can. I don't want to take off the black, but I'm just wiping off most of that white. You can still see it a little bit, but that's okay. There's going to be a lot of yellow on that side. The reason I did that was because I put my construction paper on it and I turned it on the wrong side. My, um, my stars weren't dry yet on my construction paper. Okay, this is so much fun. <laughs> now for this side, mine is still a little wet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to gently do this. I'm just going to gently put it over. I'm not going to push down. I'm just putting it over so that I don't erase what I've just done. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my toothbrush and it's okay. It doesn't have to be cleaned. And I'm going to dip it into the yellow paint. Tap it to make sure that there's no drips, big drips. And do the same thing on this side. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now we've got yellow stars and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make like a Milky Way in a line right there. And I've got a big star there. Maybe a little on the bottom here. Try to get my finger clean here. <laughs> And for this side, I'm actually going to take a little bit of that yellow with my little brush and my pencil. I'm dipping it in, tapping off the excess. And I'm gonna gently tap, gently tap to add a few bigger stars down here. There. I'm very happy with that. And now you can see you've got yellow stars on one side and white stars on the other. That's pretty cool. I'll give you a moment to catch up and to have fun with this. We're not going to take the masking tape off just yet because it might, the, I have, I can't do mine anyway, because here, you see, I got a kind of a blob of yellow there. It's still wet. It might take a few moments to dry. So I want you to have a lot of fun with this. And when you do this on your own, like I said, mix up some greens, mix up some reds. While you're doing this, I'm going to show you a little slideshow of some of the paintings that I've done in the past where I've used this splatter method for starry skies. gave you an idea of what you could do with this method. It just looks so nice. I love putting stars on a black sky. <laughs> it just looks so beautiful. So now what we're going to do is the fun part. We're going to pull all that masking tape off and we're going to see something beautiful, beautifully framed underneath. So I'm going to start with the left side and I'm going to very slowly, 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 gently Pull the masking tape off very slowly, very slowly, because if you go too fast, you might rip some of your paint off, or you could rip your page. 
Now I'm going to do the right side. Very slowly, very slowly. Okay, it's looking good. <laughs> now the middle one. This is going to be fun to see because it's going to look like almost maybe like a window. Very slowly, very slowly, very slowly. Pull that off. Okay. See how nice it looks when you put masking tape and you frame it? I think it looks amazing. Now I'm going to do the bottom. Look at that. It's all clean and framed. Beautiful. Now the top. And I have a problem with my top here. I accidentally put the masking tape underneath, so I have to be careful. There we go. Pull that out. Now I'm going to pull the top piece off. And we're going to reveal the masterpiece. <laughs> Very gently, 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 gently. There. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Don't you love this? And like I said, you can even put the background of this dark blue. You can put a dark green. And then you can play around with your colors and see what looks nice. And remember, always remember to sign your work. When I do paintings, I don't paint in my signature because I find it gets a little messy. I always, when I unframe, I always take a little marker and I sign on the bottom. You could also turn it around and sign on the back and put the date if you don't want to have your name on the front. So that's your first little masterpiece of the day. What do you think, guys? Isn't that neat? So now, guess what? We're going to do the same thing, but on our watercolor painting. So I'm going to put that aside, and I'm going to take my watercolor painting, which is dry by now. And I'm going to make sure that this is taped down to my can to my um, table or to my placemat or your workspace. Just make sure it's taped down because we're going to be painting a little bit, a little bit of black on here too. Okay. So now I'm going to use, I think, white. I might use yellow, I'm not sure. And I'm using my toothbrush because I really like the toothbrush for the, for the stars. What we're going to do is do the same thing. I have a little yellow in my, tooth uh, my toothbrush, I don't mind. I'm going to go in, take some paint, tap off the extra, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put stars in my sky. You can put it all over. Actually, you know what? The yellow might look nice on this too, but I'm gonna do more white. Tap off the extra. And I'm gonna do that same thing I did before. I'm gonna, oh, I got some big, 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 big ones there. I didn't tap enough, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I've got a clean paper towel. I'm making a tip and I'm going to go in and just tap it out. All right. Tap, 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 tap it out and then wipe it a little. Tap, 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 tap it out. It happens, you know. Sometimes you get a little more paint than you want. But just gently tap, 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 tap. Always with a clean side, okay? And it almost looks like I've got some clouds in there. Tap, 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 tap it out. Tap, 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 tap. With a clean side. Not what I just did. <laughs> 
And you want to do this right away. If you have a spot that you didn't like, do it right away before it starts to dry. All right. No matter how careful you are, sometimes this happens, as you can see. All right. Tap, 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 tap it out. And then I'm taking another clean spot. I'm just going to wipe it just a little bit just to get any extra off that I don't want. All right. This uh, sky is going to be filled with stars, so I'm not even worried about that. So I'm going to go back in and take my paint and really make sure the excess is off. All right. And I'm going to try it again. There we go. That's better. I had way too much paint on my toothbrush before. I'm filling my sky. All right. It almost looks like a snowstorm. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. Make sure all of the extra is off because I really don't want big blobs of yellow. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow. I don't want that big blob there, so I'm going to go right away with a clean paper towel. Tap, 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 tap. And it's gone. Right away. Before it starts to dry. There's a big blob down here, but that's on the masking tape, so I don't care about that. Okay. Now I'm going to actually do a little bit of the paintbrush and pencil method. Make sure all of that excess is off. Here we go. Look at that. Really, really nice. Really nice with the yellow. I'm going to add a little more. Make sure the excess is off. And tap more on. You can put as many stars as you want. You can stop right there. Maybe you have fewer stars than I do. That's fine. I'm just going to clean my finger off here. I just want you to have fun with this. And I want you to get creative. And I want you to do some stuff on your own. You know, I'm doing these painting lessons for you, but you can take the methods that I show you and do your own paintings. And you can do big, huge paintings if you have big canvases. Everything that you can imagine, you can do, okay? I want you to remember that. If you think about something that you want to paint, go ahead and paint it. Don't even think twice about it, just do it. <laughs> okay, so I'll give you just a minute to catch up there. I'm going to put my little paints away since I don't have much room on my table. Got to move this stuff. Okay, we've got one more step on this painting. Remember that black that we put away? Let's take that back out. Be careful with the saran wrap. Don't get all that paint all over the place. And I'm going to use that brush that I had used before. It still has black paint on it. All right. It's a little hard right now. I should have cleaned it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking my dirty old water and I'm just going to wet it. That smooths it out a little bit. And I'm going to just clean it up, like take all the excess water off because I don't want it to be too wet. But that just makes it a little 
less hard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create some mountains. Now watch what I'm doing here. I'm taking my black paint. I'm getting both sides full of paint. And it doesn't matter if, if your stars are still wet down here. It doesn't matter because the black will cover it. I'm starting on one side. And I'm just going to do some rolling mountains. Like that. more paint. Just like that. And I'm going to fill in the entire bottom area with black acrylic paint. You could use watercolor for this if you want, but I like to use acrylic because it's so black. The watercolor paint, if you add water to it, it would look more like a gray. It's not black enough for me anyway. And the same thing, you could use watercolor paints to do your stars. You do it the same way. You just put your paint in a bowl, add water, and do it the same way. But again, I find that they, they're not as bright. Those colors aren't as bright when you use them as stars. Now don't put too much paint on because it's not going to dry very quickly and we kind of want to we want to see the the end result here. Make sure you get all the way to the edge and again it's okay to go over onto the masking tape. Doesn't that look cool? Looks like, looks like a mountain. I'll give you a minute to catch up. And I'm just, what I'm doing in the meantime is that, you know that brush we used for the stars? I'm just cleaning that up a little bit because I'm going to use that for the black just to get some of the yellow and white off of it. Okay, how you guys doing? Okay, so like I said, I cleaned off my the brush that I used for the stars, you know, the one that I did this with. I'm going to dip that into my black. I'm going to get a lot of paint on it around the whole end of the brush. And we're going to make little trees. And for little trees, you just, you you have a very gentle, gentle touch. Watch what I'm doing. I'm just doing this. Just some trees. Just like that. They don't have to be perfect. You're just going up and down. Not up and down. You're going from the top down. And they don't have to be solid. Some of them can be a little transparent. And by that I mean, I'll show you. Here, I'll show you. Hold on. That's a solid line, right? Because you have all paint there. But, see this here? That's transparent because it's not completely filled with paint. You've got some, some of the white showing through there. That's a transparent kind of line. So you can make them transparent. They don't have to be solid lines. All right. So let's go over, put more paint on your brush and let's put some trees. I have too much paint. <laughs> let's put some trees over here too. I'm, I'm just starting on the top and bringing my paint down and I'm just doing quick little lines and I'm really not pressing hard at all. Very, very lightly. All right. You can put trees over the whole mountain if you want. I'm just going to do a little more in this valley here. There. Those are my trees. Oh, my cat's snoring. <laughs> 
I always say when I start to do art, when I start drawing or when I start painting, I feel so relaxed and all of my pets come over and they all fall asleep because they feel my relaxed energy and they love it. They love feeling relaxed. Okay guys, did you get all your trees in? Everything's good? My black is still a little bit wet and so are some of the bigger stars. But I'm going to take a chance <laughs> and I'm going to pull the masking tape off very gently because I really want to see what I've painted. We spent a lot of time painting today and I want to make sure I can see what I'm painting. So I'm very gently going to pull off the masking tape. And always pull off the one that you put on top. Like I put the sides on last so I'm taking those off first and I'm going to gently, 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 gently pull it down. Okay. When you have a watercolor painting and you're pulling off your masking tape, you have to be extra gentle because the water, if it's seeped under, it'll be moist under there and it will rip your paper. If you see that it starts ripping your paper, don't worry about it. Just keep gently, gently pulling it off. Gently, gently pulling it off. That's why at the beginning, when we put our masking tape down, we took our cloth and we pushed really hard to make sure that nothing will seep underneath. Okay, now I'm going to do the top again. Gently, very, 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 very gently. Very gently. There we go, that's the top. And now the bottom. Ooh, it's looking good. But you see, look, I don't know if you can notice, some of my paper ripped right here. I have it on the masking tape. You can't really see it. But sometimes when you're pulling, if you pull too hard, or if it got wet underneath, it might start ripping this part of the paper and you don't want that to happen. If that does happen, don't worry too much about it. But supposing your paper starts to rip in the black area and you have a whole piece of ripped paper there. All you have to do is go back in with your black and gently paint it back in. You can fix little things like that. And I don't know if you can see it, but here, some of the green paint seeped underneath my masking tape. So there's a very quick fix for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my white acrylic paint and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to take a clean brush and paint a little over that so you can't see it. <laughs> see? It's a little cheat. Just a little there. Now you can't see it. And there's some here too. So I can paint my white here so you can't see it. And there's some here too. Just blotting over it like this. So you can't see it there <laughs> and no one will know the difference that's our, our little secret all right so what do you think guys doesn't that look amazing I think you should be really really proud of yourself we had a big lesson today and we did a lot of things now don't forget sign your work if your painting is still wet and you want to sign the back let it dry completely before turning it around, okay? Or you can do what I do and you can sign at the bottom. So this has been a lot, a lot of fun. So we've got our beautiful starry night with the mountains and the trees and the watercolor background. 
and we have our beautiful double starry night on a black background. I had a lot of fun today and I hope you enjoyed this lesson my friends. So we'll see you next time on Let's Paint. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!